G'day and welcome to episode 102 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean and this is my weekly update where I share my quilting adventures. I'd like to welcome both new and returning viewers, but if you are new, I'd love it if you'd take just a few moments to say hi in the comments so we all know we have a new friend. Come see what I've been up to, what I've completed, and what's coming up in the works soon. But let's go ahead and get started with our works in progress. I had the best laid plans. I was hoping to get a lot done, and although I got a lot done, I would have liked to have got more done. Does that make sense? Anyway, the first thing I want to show you is the Mad Hatter block, which is a sew along that I'm doing with Art East Quilting Co. Uh, and it's themed on the Alice Wonderland book. The one I'm doing right now is the Mad Hatter, which is chapter three, and I have completed this much. I've done his face. I think it's turned out really cute. It's mostly tulip pink fabrics. I have treated out the blush because I like the Kona Sheen on this better than the tulip pink option, but I think this turned out really well. And hopefully next week I'll be able to show you some more updates on this as well. And then the other item I have as a work in progress is the Pandas and Sweaters, which is a pattern by Elizabeth Hartman. And this is a collab that I'm doing with my friend Becca over at the Sew Becca channel. If you haven't checked her channel out, definitely go over and check it out. It's a lot of fun to see her progress as well. And I've almost finished this one block, which is this one here. I just need to add the bottom part here. It'll be done next week, hopefully. And then the other one that I've done is this one, you saw this last week, the armless or the legless panda. I've got his arms, I just haven't sewn them on. So next week you should hopefully see him complete as well. So that's what I have for my works in progress. I have a lot more to share with you throughout the episode, so don't run away. But now I want to show you the week in review. And if you're new to the channel, this is a series of videos I put out, I take during the week, mostly of me sewing, but also any of the adventures that the boys and Amanda and I get up to, the doggos and so forth. So I hope you enjoy. Last week I asked everybody if they made a pattern just the one time or if it was some, they had patterns that I used multiple times and the majority of you like myself make most patterns if not all of them just the one time and very rarely use them again and I think that's because there's so many wonderful patterns out there that we want to try and just not enough time to make them over and over again with rare exceptions of course. Now that it's Christmas time and it's Advent season I was curious to see this week if anyone else is doing an Advent. I am personally not doing an advent this year, but my wife Amanda is, and if you're interested in knitting, definitely check out her channel, Dog Mom Knits. She's doing a wonderful advent series and vlogmas series this month, as are many of my sewing friends as well. But I was curious to see if you are doing an advent this year, or if you subscribe to any of the wonderful subscription boxes out there, let me know which ones or ones you're doing. And so now it is time to talk about my goals, and my goals are not hard deadlines, they just of things that I would like to achieve during the week. And I have quite a list this week. I would like to finish the Panda blocks that I started. That should be fairly achievable. I'd also like to finish the Mad Hatter bo um, block. And that's going to be a little more difficult because I still have a box full of pieces. But we'll see how that goes. I'd like to finish Clue 5 of the Carnival Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cut and Cuts. And then finally I'd like to get some more quilting done on a couple of other projects as well. Let me know what your goals are for this week. And so next up is our questions and answers section. I have a couple of cool questions that came in this week. The first one was asking about the quilt behind me, which had the ribbon on. This was a question from my friend Persida, 
And this is the quilt that I entered into the State Fair of Virginia earlier this year. And the ribbon I have behind it is the one that I got, which was highly commended, which I believe is basically fourth place. I love this small quilt. I did a wonderful job with it. If you go back and check some of my earlier episodes, you'll see progress on that and that sort of thing there. And I do intend on releasing a video talking about the judge's notes and the state fair itself and all the other beautiful quilts in it in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. The next question that came in was, what are my plans for Toasty? And Toasty is a foundation paper piecing pattern that is by Legit Kits. I bought the pattern earlier this year and I haven't touched it. I need to go out to the fabric store and buy fabric for it at some point, but that's going to be a 2024 project. So keep an eye out for that. And then the third one um, that came in was asking about the new Puzzle Mistral Quilt by Cotton Cuts, The Tree of Life, which starts next February. I've been asked by a few people, am I doing the small or the large? And the answer to that is I don't know at this point. I've done smalls in the past. I'm assuming it'll be a small again in the future, but I have not heard officially. And then the other thing is uh, asking about the codes. In the past, we've been giving out um, ambassador codes, but this time we've actually been given affiliate links. So if you're interested in joining the Puzzle Mistral Quilt, Please use the link that I have in the description below. It does not cost you anything extra, but that lets the Cotton Cut team know that I sent you along and I also earn a small commission on that as well, which would be wonderful. So that is all my questions for this week. If you have any questions, please drop them in the um, chat or send me an email and I'll feature them in a future episode. And so next up is our news and events section. And this week I had a few videos go out. On Monday evening, I had my latest installment of the Investigating Quilt series go out, which is just a me... A, quick overview of a quilt that I saw at a quilt show in the past. It's a lot of fun. Definitely go check it out if you missed it. On Wednesday, I released a time lapse of Clue 4, the Carnival Puzzle, Puzzle Mystery Quilt by Cotton Cuts, and that's a lot of fun to check out as well. Yesterday morning, I had a brand new guest. Her name was Kathy, and she has her own channel called My Hobby Home. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't checked out that live replay, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. And also, go see Kathy's channel. I think you will really enjoy it. She has a lot of fun content there as well. This coming week, I'll have the Investigating Quilts tomorrow evening. On Wednesday, I have another time lapse from the Alice in Wonderland themed so along that I'm doing of Art East. And then this Saturday morning, we got to do a retake of the, um, and have my friend Brandy back from 100 Proof Quilt. So we tried having her on a few weeks ago. Um, we had some audio issues, but I'm pretty sure this time around, it's going to be um, A-OK. -okay we'll have her back and we're going to have to do a fun little project together. So keep an eye out for those videos. Over the last month or two, I've been working in the background, coordinating with over 20 other content creators to record and capture some of their favorite quilts that they've made over the years. I did a very similar project last year, and I'm going to do the same thing and release it on Saturday the 23rd of December at 10 a.m. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've got a nice mix of both large and small channels. If you remember watching it last year, it's very, very similar, just with a whole new cast. I think you really enjoy it. And if you haven't watched it, go watch last year's edition to kind of get an idea of what it's like, and then come back on the 23rd. And the nice thing is I'm going to release it on at 10 a.m., so that way my friends on the West Coast don't have to get up quite so early as well to watch it as well. So it'll be at 10 a.m., it'll be a premiere, we'll have a live chat, so that way myself and a lot of the content creators that have been part of this project will also be in the chat as well to hang out with you guys. I really hope you um, join me for that project. It's going to be a lot of fun. You do not want to miss it. And finally, I want to be able to show you a couple of finished pr products. Usually I work on quilts, but sometimes I work on some other products. And this time I made a couple of drawstring project bags. They're missing the drawstring, but they'll be in very shortly. And this is the first one. I love all the little sheep. It's going to be for like, it's sock size, so that way you can put like a pair of socks or a skein of yarn, that sort of thing in there as well. It's a nice blue interior. And then I did the same interior on the second one with these wonderful colorful sheep. I love this fabric. I think this one turned out really cute. And so there we go. And so with that, that is the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit the like button. Share with a friend, and I always love hearing comments from my viewers. I hope you all have a great day. Get all the sewing that you want done in, and we'll see you on the next video. Happy sewing!